Las Vegas massacre understandably getting a lot of attention now, but there's another massacre happening in slow motion, has been for years in the city of Chicago and other cities, by the way. But Chicago recently recorded its 500th gun homicide for the year. By the end of this year, it will have enough fatal shootings to match Stephen Paddock's murder spree at least 10 times over. George Cardenas is a Chicago alderman. He's upset about this, understandably. He says tough gun laws could help the situation. Alderman Cardenas joins us tonight. Uh, Mr. Alderman, th Mr. Cardenas, thank you for joining us. Um, thanks, Tucker. Thanks, uh, thanks for the invite. So I've done this story. I know you're sincerely concerned about this, and I appreciate that. And I've, I've done this story a million uh, sure. times, and it's always the same answer, which is we need better gun control in the city of Chicago because we have Indiana right next door. And I always think, well, you know, I live in D.C., which has a much lower murder rate than Chicago. I live like 800 yards from Virginia, which has lax gun laws. Why is Chicago different? It well, well, I mean, it's different for a lot of different reasons. And, you know, obviously guns are part of the problem, but right. it isn't the only problem. Uh, you have a, a community and, and beset by, by uh, unemployment, uh, by lack of opportunities. And, and by the way, most of the homicides and violence are affected in African-American communities, yeah. some Hispanics, but, but blacks are, are really impacted by, by the gun violence. Uh, when you have had this investment and, and you cut schools, and you cut school funding. And, and for decades, by the way, uh, the areas of the south side and west sides have been left uh, uh, with neglect. Jobs have left. Um, all the manufacturing jobs that were there decades ago are long gone. The, nothing has replaced that. Uh, you add that to the mix of everything happening in the city of Chicago, um, and along with cases, obviously, of pol police brutality, allegations of... Uh, Wait, but you, I, wonder, have okay, that I, get, is, I mean, look, I'm not good. discounting any of that. I, you know, most of what you said is real, except the school funding thing, which is silly. But the rest of it is, is real. There, are, there is a job crisis there, but there's a job crisis in a lot of parts of the country, deindustrial parts of the country that don't have the same murder rate. Maine or Appalachia or lots of places that have similar problems but don't have the murder rate that you guys have. Why does well, nobody I mean, ever mention... It, 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 what, but why does nobody ever mention the fact that the majority of kids in Chicago don't have a father at home. Do you think that's a part of it? Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's part of it. If you have a lack of job opportunities, if you have lack of, lack of uh, you know, infrastructure uh, where, no, no, no. where you family, live. No, no, the family, the family part I mean, of it. it no, well, the wait, I know the, the job stuff. part. Yeah, it is, it is. But I mean, why does nobody ever part, mention it, that? It, why are politicians we so afraid? It. We mention it, we no, acknowledge it. No, you don't. It. Uh, no, you never do. There's that's a, not true. Yeah, there's a lot of pro there's a lot of programs here in place in this city. I'm not talking about programs. I'm not talking about programs. Become a, become a father. Look, you know the truth, and I'm not. I know you're smart. I'm not patronizing you, but I'm being sincere. If you don't have a dad at home, you can grow up to be a great person. But it's a, and most do. But it's a lot harder, and you're much more likely to have violence in your neighborhood if nobody has a dad. Well, Why does nobody have the courage to say that? Let's talk about the numbers. Let's talk about the numbers. Yeah. So, let's talk about the numbers. So, in in Illinois. You have approximately 49,000 prison inmates. 65% of those prison inmates happen to be African American. Right. Now, as a percentage of the population in Illinois, they're only 14% of the population. So, you know, what's going on? Why is so many African Americans incarcerated? Not to mention, not just African Americans, Hispanics as well, but those statistics tell you if they're not. Uh, if, obviously, they're in prison. They can be at home providing for their families, right? So you're saying those statistics? Yes, of course. You're going to see a big gap in that. It's a social problem that we have. So I, I need right. you to understand but that. But social problems in the father look, home. Social problems are complex, as you know, and I don't want to reduce it just to one factor because that's not fair. But that's a huge right. factor. The family you grew up in shapes a lot of who you are, and it did for you. It did for me. And if you have a community where, like, nobody in the neighborhood is a dad at home, maybe that's a massive part of it. And politicians, particularly on the left, are so afraid to say that out loud because it sounds mean or because they're courting single women as a voting, voting block, which you are, I know. Why don't they get over their political fear and tell Tucker, the truth I think, about I think that? I, you, you, want to solve, you want to solve the problem, don't you? I mean, no, forget about Republican, Democrat. You yeah. like to solve the problem, don't you? Yes. I mean, this is a big city. It affects the United States. Yes, I agree. America. And I don't think that's there, the there only There's a lot of Republicans factor. here in Illinois. Right. Right. I, I'm just saying that if you take that, the data of African Americans being incarcerated oh, I know what the, 10 I know times what the, the right are. of everybody yeah. else, if they're in prison, they can't be at home providing for their family, right? I think that's part of it. But 
it would, wouldn't it be helpful just to name the problem and stop patronizing us with this nonsense about Indiana being responsible because they have different gun laws? Like, that's just dumb and everybody knows it, right? Well, look, I didn't say, I didn't say, I'm not blaming You didn't say it, but everybody what saying, says what that. What, what I'm saying here is that, is that guns are also part of the problem because, you know, guns are cheaper than buying an iPhone. I mean, that's crazy. $100 to buy a gun. And, and when you have a, a you know, a, a, an area in the city of Chicago, a community beset by violence, beset by unemployment, beset by a lot of also socioeconomic problems, right. that's just, that's just, you know, fuel to, to, to the fire. That's what I'm saying. We but it's not the cause. The problem, no Those doubt are about tools. It. You know, yeah, I get it. But, right. We got to come to George, solutions. Th thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate it.